Today, we are going to show the result of our reader's theater video. But first, we are going to introduce ourselves and our own roles. My name is Cindy. I'm from Utawacana Christian University. I play as narrator one and stepmother. My name is Andrea Ekademayanti from Universitas Kristen Satya Wacana, and I play as stepsister and very good mother. Hi, my name is Natalie Ayunen Kusumastuti. I am from Satya Wacana, and I play as narrator two and Cinderella. So that's all for the brief introduction, and enjoy the video. There was a kind-hearted, beautiful girl named Cinderella. Hi, I'm Cinderella. I live in a small village with my beloved stepmother and stepsister. But they were very mean to Cinderella. Especially Lady Charmaine, her stepmother, who envied Cinderella's appearance. They always told Cinderella to do all chores. Cinderella! Cinderella! Yes, mother. Who name you are? I've called you multiple times and look at what you did. You didn't even come on time. Uh, I don't think they should call me for several. Shut up! Now, give me some massages. The whole part of my body hurts. Come on, don't be too lame. Oh, also, don't forget to clean my room and make today's lunch. You already know your job, right? Okay, mom. Starting from the legs part, then go to my arms and back. Alright, mother. Okay. Don't forget to cook a baked turkey for today. Anastasia just said to me that she's craving it. Oh, also, remember for not. Ah! So sorry, I didn't mean to. You dumb girl! I've told you lately for not touching this part. my room. I'm sorry, Mom. Do another job. And also, if you're messed up again, then be ready for the funeral. Yesterday was supposed to be a glorious day for Cinderella, but it is completely ruined by her stepsister. Anastasia was nagging with her loud voice. She realized that she lost her beautiful dress. She started to assume that Cinderella is the one that stole her dress. <clears throat> Where is my new dress that I performed the boutique yesterday? Cinderella? Yes, what can I do for you? Did you go to my room without my permission? Uh, yes, I was cleaning yesterday and how dare you step into my room without my permission? You must be the one who stole my dress, right? Mommy, please come here and look what she did to me. What the hell is going on, darling? Cinderella, mom. Cinderella entered my room without any consent and she stole my dress. I, I didn't do that she is lying, Mom. It's still morning, and look at the chaos that you made. I'm speaking the truth, Mom. I was screaming yesterday, and I was. Stop making excuses, Cinderella. You deserve all of this. <laughs> Sorry about your missing dress, darling. We will go to the boutique this afternoon, and I'm going to get you a new one. And what about me, Mom? You will also get me a new dress, right? And 
ungrateful girl like you deserves a punishment. You have to clean this house and cook for both of us. We will prepare ourselves to go to the market. All chores must be done before we're home or else I will give you a bunch of rocks for dinner tonight. Be thankful because we don't even kick you out of this house this time. What are you looking at? Go back to your work. Look at this and also, oh my god, the dust over here. I can't believe that I have such a silly stepsister. I was to kick you out in the beginning if I just found out earlier that you are actually... Ah! There are two mice running into my room. Get some help, get some help, otherwise they will jump to my bed. Anastasia, my daughter, you need to calm down. Mom, they are so big and nasty. You have to do something. <laughs> Mommy cannot help you. The mice are way too big. Are you blind or what? Take them out to my room, man, Cinderella. D darling, don't be loud. Don't be loud. The mice will get terrified and jump to your bed. Calm down, sweetheart. They won't buy it. Mom, stop talking nonsense things. And Cinderella, you better do your job now. Oh, I'm sorry. I will take the mice out now. Oh my god, do it faster, Cinderella. They're disgusting. And I feel like I want to. Mommy, they're jumping. Help. Don't be scared, Anastasia. The more you scream, then the more they get terrifying. I will help you to pick them out. Cinderella, pick out the mice. Everything was fine until her stepmother and stepsister realized that Cinderella was laughing while helping them. Did you just laugh? You really thought you did something good? How dare you, Cinderella? Anastasia, I was laughing because of the mice. I'm sorry if both of you feel Another offended. Another excuses? Look, mom, she even knows how to lie. Who taught you? You did this, mom. I was speaking the truth, Anastasia, and don't ever degrade my mom or else. Guess what, Cinderella? No dinner for you tonight. This is a punishment for you. I don't want to hear any words from you no more. Go clean the house now, no procrastination. She did all the chores by herself. No one even helped her to do that because her mom and her stepsister were going out at that moment. Luckily, she didn't stay all alone in that house. There were some animals that accompanied her. They love Cinderella so much, especially two mice named Gus and Jack. One day, there was an announcement that there will be a ball ceremony held by the police in which any girl can come to the palace and greet the king and his son. It had its own purpose, which was to find a life partner for the future king. When Cinderella heard about the news, she became very happy and ran quickly to the attic. Cinderella found an old dress, which was her mom's, but it was more stunning with a little craft of her golden hands so that the mice and the birds helped her to beautify her dress with some ribbons and bits. It was so beautiful. But there was one problem that she could not avoid. Her stepmother. Knowing that Cinderella wanted to join the ball and see her wedding in the family gown, made her sister Stepsister ran toward her with the ribbons down her bits so that she couldn't join them anymore. What 
are doing to my dress? You cannot go to the ball with us. This is uh, this is for stealing my necklace and ribbons. Give it back to me. You had shown them away. But you have to shut up. Alright, girl. We're going to be late. Let's go to the ball now. And I'm so sorry, But an ordinary girl like you, it's not worth it to compete with my daughter Anastasia. She's way out of your way. No, you're playing. Cinderella was really sad because of the rude treatment that she received from her stepmother and stepsister. She ran to the garden and cried until there was an old fairy approaching her. Hey, 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 young lady. What are you crying about? Who, who are you? I'm the fairy godmother. Come on, wipe those tears. You can go to the pool with this, look. Uh, I don't think I can go. Look at what my family did to my dress. I thought that they loved me. Oh, poor my little girl. You deserve better. And that is the actual reason why I'm here now. Whatever kind of circumstances you encounter, I will always be here to support you. Thank you. Thank you so much. But do you think I can go to the ball tonight? Well, of course you can. But we have to hurry. Even miracles takes a little time. The fairy godmother took out the magic wand. With her magical spell, the tone dress now turned out to be magnificent. Cinderella was very happy and felt missed at the same time as she saw the miracles at that moment. Hmm. You can go to the pub with that look. Uh, what are you going to do, good mother? Uh, 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 uh. Try to close your eyes, darling. Mom? Come on, come on, just trust me, Cinderella. Close your eyes in three, two, one. Avocadavra! Oh. Nothing changed, my godmother. I still look the same. Oh, oh, wait. Wrong spell. Um, let me remember for a second. Ah, I remember. Skala kadu, nabi bibi bu, nabi bibi papi bibu. Now, that's perfect. Wow, what a beautiful girl. I like this girl, good mother. So, what are you waiting about? Hurry up, hurry up, you'll be late. Thank you so much, very good mother. I don't know what I have to do if you are not here. Oh, wait, 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 darling. Mm, you can go to the ball with the shoes, honey. They look... Um, so old and dirty. Let me fix that. Bibi di bab bibi bu. Now, that is what you call by perfection. Wow, they are gorgeous. Thank you. But it is impossible if I go there by walking the mother. Mm -mm -mm. No surprise. Look at your behind. That mother. You prepared all of this for me? Look at the horse John carriers. They look almost the same as the one from Castle. Of course, it is because I love you, Cinderella. You deserve all of this. You have a genuine heart, well behaved, and patient. These are the results of your composure. I've never been this happy before. Thank you so much, Godmother. Oh. Don't forget that the spell will disappear at 12 o'clock, darling. You have to return home at before midnight, okay? Now, go! Get the prince heart. Goodbye, my child. You're too very good, mother. Goodbye. <laughs>